means furries and grimaces. This is Mad Hair Patrick. I don't have anything else to say, well, except this. If you can think of any recognizable fast food restaurant, McDonald's would have to be the first restaurant that pops into your mind. Known for making burgers, fries, and chicken McNuggets, it has become the largest restaurant chain in the entire world. But the biggest significance of McDonald's is the popularity of their mascot, Ronald McDonald. He was not only a prominent character in the restaurant, but also on TV commercials to promote McDonald's. He would also appear in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, run a charity house to help children, and appear on an E.T. rip-off movie, Mac and Me, which he ended up getting a Razzie for Worst New Star. Nowadays, there are other fast food restaurants that want to be like McDonald's, like Burger King and Wendy's, making their own mascot to sell more burgers, chicken, and fries. But what if I tell you that there was a time that Ronald became a cartoon? Yes, believe it or not, there was actually an anime series starring Ronald McDonald. However, this was not the first time the clown ever became animated. There were two anime shorts in 1987 and in 1990 called Ronald McDonald and the Adventure Machine and the Adventures of Ronald McDonald McTreasure Island. But in 1998 through 2003, Ronald eventually got his short-lived cartoon series called The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. As a way to market the restaurant, McDonald exclusively sold new episodes of the cartoon on VHS and the result turned out to be a home media success. The only episode that didn't get a VHS release was The Monster Old McDonald Land Lock. It was instead only on the Classy Supo website. Welcome to another episode of the Wonder Reviews. Let's open up this Happy Meal box. This is my review of The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. The whole premise of the show focused on Ronald McDonald and his friends like Grimace, Birdie, the Hamburglar, and the Reds going on a lot of adventures throughout McDonald Land. It starts off with a live-action statement starring Roland himself and then goes into animation after the character presents the main plot of the episode. And their adventure consists of magical moments, musical numbers, and they always end with a moral at the end of the episode and cuts back to live-action with Roland saying, Hoping I'll see you next time, live and in person at McDonald's. Now before we talk about the episodes individually, I figure it only makes sense to start talking about the animation. This animation was made by Classy Supko, the same people behind Rugrats, The Wild Thornberries, and Rocket Power, and it clearly shows. I will say, the overall settings and backgrounds are quite colorful. The locations that Ronald and his friend travel are really nice, from the spooky haunted house, to the stars and planets in outer space, to the rundown Gale birthday world, to the numerous time periods like the Renaissance or McDonald Land in the 1970s. Plus, some of the visuals are pretty good whenever Ronald conjures up some magic. But the one thing that everyone seems put out throughout the show is the character design, which honestly feels a bit weird. While some like Birdie and the Hamburglar resemble nothing like their live-action counterparts in the commercials, they are still pretty good alongside Grimace. Ronald and Sunday's looks are okay, well, except when Sunday appears in live action, but then you have the human characters who look like they belong on another show. And as for the character animation, while it is limited, even for VHS standards, it does present some nice choreography during the song sequences. The animation is visually weird, even for the studio that made Rugrats, but I can tell that the animators did care on crafting a Ronald McDonald cartoon. I even like the live action said things. It's like Pee Wee's Playhouse minus the talking furniture. But enough about the animation. What sort of adventures happen in McDonald Land? As previously stated, this show has a total of six episodes. There's Scare Silly, where Ronald and the gang go on a camping trip but gets trapped in a haunted house. The Legend of Grimace Island is about them sailing the seas to save the grimaces of Grimace Island. The Visitors from Outer Space is about saving Hamburglar from aliens after telling lies. Birthday World focuses on Ronald's birthday, but gets disrupted by an evil scientist who turns him and his friends into babies. Half Time World Travel is a time-traveling episode where Ronald and his friends travel through different time periods while trying to get back home. And the monster, Old McDonald and Locke, focuses on Birdie making friends with a Loch Ness monster, but she has to keep him a secret. And since all these episodes have a moral in them, these episodes had to hammer them in for the viewers. Rather, the moral's about you don't have to be afraid when you have your friends around, lying gets you into trouble, or the best birthday gift is having your friends to celebrate. Of course, you are going to expect some commercialism since it's promoting McDonald's starring the main character and those golden arches do appear from time to time. 
However, what actually ends up saving the show as an enjoyable cartoon is the execution. With each adventure they go on, it presents a lot of ideas and imaginative concepts that makes the journey fun to watch. Like Scare Silly is like entering a fun high mansion with traps and puzzles. There's a nice backstory and world building about Grimace Island and McDonaldland Lock. There's a lot of crazy space scenarios in the visitors from outer space. And Half Time Will Travel has some wacky adventures at each time period, like meeting cavemen versions of themselves or doing a disco dance in the 70s. It's pretty much what you expect when you hear the title of the episode. And trust me, I didn't mention the ridiculous part that happened in the episode. Like pirates being afraid of being tickled by a feather, the only way to stop an alien food fight is by singing a funky song, and being chased by a robotic dog that has an accordion for a body. So Ronald was not wrong that wackiness can be contagious. Since it is a McDonald's cartoon, it not only stars Ronald McDonald, but also features all of his friends either new or from the commercials. The characters are basically simple in terms of their personality or traits. Ronald McDonald is the good-hearted magical clown, Grimace is Ronald's dumb but kind-hearted friend, Birdie is the early bird that is sometimes a chatterbox, Hamburglar is the mischievous trickster, Sunday is the clown dog that makes dry humor, and the McNuggets and Fry Kids are the extra characters that come in a group of three. As simplistic as they are, they are actually likable thanks to their voice performances. This cartoon has an amazing all-star cast. Charlie Adler, Dee Bradley Baker, Christine Cavanaugh. These are legendary actors and actresses. So you can tell they put some charm that went into these recognizable characters. Just what we need. Dual airbags and an attitude problem. Must be some way of getting him to use his magic. <laughs> We birds have an unswerving sense of direction. How do you think we migrate every year? Then there are the human characters that join Ronald on adventures, Franklin and Tika. There are many more who the kids can relate to when watching the cartoon, but they are really not that interesting. There are other familiar McDonald's characters that appear in this like I Am Hungry and Mayor McCheese, but they're only here to make cameos. As for the rest of the new characters, it really varies based on their personalities and performances. Some are likable as the McDonald gang like Org, Dr. Quizzical, and King Gunga. Some are cliche like Sills and Pip being the pinky in the brain copycats. And the other villains like one Eye Sally and Pinchworm have good cartoonish villainy within them. The show also contains a bunch of musical numbers, at most four for each episode. And I'll give them this, the songs are well done. What makes these songs stand out on their own are their rhythm, how catchy they are, and the visuals within them make them fun to watch and listen. You got songs like Time to Set Up Cam and Funky Planet having an upbeat spin to them. Have a pleasant holiday. Time to set, 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 set up camp. Kim Murray and the Grimace Island song have fun dancing choreography. Not to worry, he's the judge and jury. A day in the life of... And some like A Night Like This and I Wanna Get Off This Ride contains some spooky imageries. The only songs that are not that good or at least memorable are Going On A Car Trip and If Monsters Are Real because they resemble too much like the previous songs There's Nothing Like The Grey Outdoors and Saying Sail To Sail The Seas. No matter how many songs they throw into each episode, it's likely you will buy a favorite among any of them. Even the theme song can be fun to watch and listen. They throw out a lot of things that can make this show pretty weird. But after watching these wacky episodes, I actually like them. The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald is an obvious cartoon series made to capitalize on the McDonald's brand. But the funny thing is, it can be pretty enjoyable. Yes, the episodes and their morals are predictable and the characters are underdeveloped. But to its credit, the animation is decent, the McDonald gang are likable, there are some good performances, the adventures are surreal, and the songs are fun to listen to. Now for my recommendation, if you really love those old Ronald McDonald and Friends ads, or if you enjoy classy Supo works like Rugrats or the Wild Thornberries, then you might like this. For anyone else, I say give it a watch if you're curious. You can actually watch the series free on YouTube. Just type the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, let the audio search do the work, and boom, there they are. I know that the review is pretty much all over the place, but I did have a good time for that great taste of wackiness at this McDonald's cartoon. I'm giving it a B-. I'm Mad Hair Patrick, now if you'll excuse me, 
I suddenly have an urge to order a pizza, but where exactly? Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe me for a new review and other project every week. I'll see you soon.